Okay, it's 5.30. I'll call this meeting to order. Can we get a roll call, please? Blake Roberts. Here. Judy Hontosh. Here. Sam Husnick. Mark Finneman. Here. Jennifer Lorge. Here. Mara Bain. Here. Ask all those that are able to join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Members of the EDA, we have an agenda before you. I will entertain a motion to approve the agenda. I make a motion to approve the agenda. A second. Motion and a second. And a note for tonight's agenda, we have a couple of items of official business, and then we will be moving into the Forest Lake room for a working session, so we're able to take, take advantage of the whiteboard space there. Um, all those in favor of tonight's agenda, please signal by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item is approved minutes from our regular meeting of October 28th, 2019. I will entertain a motion. So moved. I'll second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor, signal by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Next item on our agenda this evening is a resolution 11 12 1901 related to the redemption of outstanding lease bond revenue bonds. Patrick, you want to walk us through this? I'll be happy to. The, um, as you're all aware, that this building was built with the EDA uh, revenue bonds, uh, which the city pays a, an annual rent to, which then goes towards paying off the bonds. And consultant, consulting with our uh, financial advisors, uh, this seems to be a very opportune time to refinance those bonds. The, the bond market is favorable. Uh, the rates are low. Uh, so we have gone through an analysis uh, with this bond and combined it with um, some other initiatives that the city has to, to uh, come up with a $35 million uh, bond that is scheduled for sale on Thursday. Uh, by refinancing this bond, it's estimated over the remaining life of the the term of the bond, which we have not increased, we didn't. When you know we refinanced it like a 15-year mortgage, we didn't go out another 15 years. We kept it; at, it'll expire at the same time the current bond does. Uh, it's estimated we will save at least a million dollars on the refinancing of this bond over the life of that of the term, based on current interest rates, and, uh, bond rates, I should say, and uh, the performance that we expect. Uh, and uh, currently, just news today is that the bond market is in. They've had some good sales today, so we're looking forward to Thursday when we think we'll get a great great rate on the return of this bond. This bond then um, will no longer be an EDA bond. It'll be a, a bond from the, the City of Forest Lake using its general obligation uh, bond holding uh, powers, and it'll be responsible for the city to, to make those bond payments out of regular revenues wherever they may come from. Members of the EDL, any questions for staff? What interest rate do we have right now on the bonds? That's a good question. I'm not sure. It's over, probably over two. It's probably two and a half, I think, if somewhere along those lines. Uh, I would expect at least a beginning, uh, probably under two, uh, based on current estimates. Um, the conservative, uh, the estimate of a million dollar savings uh, is conservative. We expect more if the bond sale reflects today's market, the way bonds are being sold today, were sold today in the, in the municipal market, so. That, is that savings and after any refinancing costs or how are it? Yes, it's after the refinancing <coughs> cost, yes. Any further questions? Also, a quick item to point out, up until this point, any um, activities related to the city center have always gone through the EDA um, because you are the issuing authority, and so those would be transferring now to city council. Um, there's been some day-to-day -day maintenance things as we just had the um, plowing agreement for the outlots. I mean, those types of things are, will now transfer back to city council. That's correct. Um, which actually I think is a fantastic opportunity for um, the EDA to be working on more traditional economic development authority um, type activities. So not hearing any further questions, um, I will entertain a motion for tonight's resolution. Again, it's in your packet. 
um, 11, 12, 19, 0, 1. It's on page 6 of your packet. I would move approval. There's a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Any further discussion? Just a quick comment. Um, I've been in favor of this. I think it's a great opportunity for us as we are doing this entire um, bond package um, this week. It's a great opportunity for us to um, save taxpayers about a million dollars over the life of the life of the loan, so or life of the issuance. That said, I'll call call the uh, vote. All those in favor, please signal by saying aye. 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 Oppose. And motion carries. We're going to do quick updates here before we retire to the um, Forest Lake room. Chris. Washington Thank you, President Bain and, and members. Good evening. Just a quick update for you on the website. We had a chance. You guys were the first ones to do a sneak preview of the video last um, at their last meeting. The website is now live. And so if you want to check it out, uh, if you go to eastmetro.org, it's uh, the CDA's Economic Development website for Washington County. The video is on there. There's some beautiful pictures of Forest Lake and, and, and uh, videos of Forest Lake. And then also, I just wanted to highlight that if you're ever looking for commercial buildings or want to know what's available for commercial properties anywhere in the county, there's a, a tab called Site Selection at the very top and then Available Properties. And you can click on that and it'll just bring up Washington County and you can zoom in on Forest Lake and see what's available. So I'm happy to stand for any questions. Thank you. Any counsel? Yeah. Any questions for Chris this evening? Very good. Thank you. Nan, welcome. Well, thank you, and uh, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I just wanted to uh, give you a couple of updates. One is that our membership is holding, so we're up some, down some, but overall just holding great. Uh, looking at our current businesses in the area to see um, who we can reach out to that we haven't in the past. And then I just found out, which I thought you might be interested in, that downtown we are losing two of the businesses in that area, uh, basically between um, across the street from Town Square, uh, two of them, and they're both health-related. One will be closing in November and the other at the end of December. Are they, do you know if they are moving to other locations in Forest Lake or are they moving out of Forest Lake, closing all together? They're closing all together. Um, one is hoping to sell. Okay. And the other one is closing and their doors. And did you say health related? Mm hmm okay. Yeah, neither one is financial, so that's, I asked, you know, to find out. Um, the reason for moving is health, re or the reason for closing yes. is health related. Mm -hmm. They're not health entities. Uh -huh. Got it. Exactly. Okay. Yep. And you mentioned one's looking to sell. Yes. So anybody listening that happens to hear, contact you for, for a connection? Sure. Yep, absolutely. Perfect. Thanks. Very good. Any questions from Nan? I, I, can you, Go ahead. Can, can you uh, talk a little bit about the Hawaiian Walk event that was ha happened uh, earlier in the month? Sure. In October? Yeah, sure. Um, we... From my perspective, from the organizing standpoint, I thought everybody did a great job. All the businesses were fully engaged and, and looked great. We did have about five days of doom and gloom from the uh, meteorologists, so uh, it, they were telling us it was going to be really bad. And uh, of course, it was on Friday, uh, not so bad on Thursday. We had a little rain right at the beginning, which um, hindered the amount of people that came out. Uh, but overall, I think our community did a great job. Uh, every every place looked just fantastic. Uh, again, you know, Blake was one of the anchored ends, and so Lake Flora was just absolutely amazing. Um, we, you know, from a tracking standpoint, we sold cups, so we sort of know how many. Not everybody bought cups, but you know, we know about how many attended the event, and then uh, we gathered tickets for every ten dollars in sales. So based on what was turned in at the end of the night at the drawing at the time of the drawing we know that there's between forty five hundred and five thousand dollars in sales generated over the three hours so um, again we, I've had conversations with some of our key players key businesses and uh, we debriefed a lot talked about what worked what didn't and we have a survey going out to all the rest or actually it's already out and so we're gathering data from the rest to see what they liked, and maybe we've got some pretty strong ideas already about what, uh, how, how we would do it differently and how we would make changes, so. Perfect. Is this posted on how we can help with that? 
Thank you. Very good. Well, I did want to also mention um, that I am excited to be working with uh, the city on the holiday hometown uh, fest festivities that are going on around the tree lighting. Uh, they're beefing that up a bit, and so there's some opportunities for the chamber to be involved in a different way this year. So, very good. Date for the so just point of point of reference the. Tree lighting is moving to the following weekend. It is, sad, is it December sad, 7th. Saturday, December 7th. Correct. Activities starting at here at City Hall. Um, Lakeside Memorial Park can be incredibly cold. So Santa is going to be here and then the actual tree lighting will still be at um, Lakeside Memorial Park with an opportunity for um, obviously downtown exposure. Um, but I, I think that time of year weather cold kids in Santa, um, we needed a little bit of a bigger indoor space. So um, I know Parks, Lakes, and Trails has solicited a lot of community feedback on format, venue, and also best day. Um, so looking forward to a good event. One, one question. Go um, for Nan, Nana, uh, Flake Fest, any, any talk there? Is the city or chamber looking to re revigorate that or? Yes, uh, when I when Jamie and I met about the hometown holiday, we kind of scaled back our thoughts about what we might implement for that, and kind of deterred that to uh, maybe a little bit more on the flake fest. So uh, once she has the final pieces together for the hometown holiday, she said we'll start working towards that right away. And so we we have discussed how the chamber and the city can work together on that event. Agreed, and I know the school district is also a partner to that. Um, I know there's been a lot of conversation. I would have to defer to Parks, Lakes, and Trails and Jamie on kind of where the current thoughts are for next steps, but I know there's a lot of people working on it, and what do we do to make that a, a memorial event as well? Mm -hmm. so, so just to mention on that, so uh, the Rotary Club is <clears throat> looking to uh, po possibly partnering with uh, Special Olympics, so it might be a Special Olympics plunge with the, with the Rotary Club, so that should bring in more traffic and maybe try to get that event back to where For it's the glory winter days. Plunge? Yes. Oh, good. Well, and I've had some. I've had actually a chamber member, one in particular that is quite adamant that we add a uh, snow golf tournament to the event, and um, I'll just pass that along to Jamie and I mentioned it. You know, we talked about it a little bit, but uh, again, there's that's not an easy feat. Um, but again, some great ideas around that time and maybe taking it a little longer because I think right now it's just a few days. And so there, again, she's, we've just started the conversations about what maybe we can do differently. Very good. And then um, just make sure you, that you, you're in the loop and the chamber is in the loop. Um, one of the things we will be talking about here in our workshop session um, and also kind of ongoing over the next several weeks, months, as we're winding down 2019, is what does it, what's next steps look like for a downtown initiative? Um, right. And so as we talked about membership of that, obviously the chamber was a part of that conversation, and um, that's part of what we'll talk about here as we workshop, and then just going forward, but just want to make sure the chamber knows that that's right. on our radar and in the very early formation stages. Great. Wonderful. Good to hear. Anything else from a chamber perspective? All right, great updates. We are going to um, take our next agenda item into the Forest Lake Conference Room. We will conclude the meeting and adjourn the meeting from there. Uh, important to note that that is still an open meeting, so any members of the public watching online um, or here in the audience able to wel welcome to join us here in the Forest Lake Room, but we will be there for the remainder of our session. So with that, we will move over.